I know more is coming. And um, I'm so excited for today. Let's hear from some people. What, what are some exciting things that are happening today, guys? I think that we're so far, no one is new on here except our special guest, Kim, which is awesome. Welcome, Kim. Thank you. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so give us some, uh, some excitement, something that happened this morning. Anything? It wasn't this morning, but it was yesterday. An inactive team member of mine, or barely active, signed up a new rep. So, so a barely active signed up a new rep. Mm -hmm. so okay. That's fire underneath. That's going to be uh, very exciting. Awesome. Congratulations. What else, you guys? What else is exciting that's been happening? I met some new people today. I went on a, a special hike that I was invited to at Arabia Mountain in Georgia. And um, I met some new people and got some new prospects who may potentially want to be partners. Um, you know, we talked a little bit. And so I'm excited about that. New friends. And it's always good to go out and do the business while doing something that you love. So I know you love hiking. Well, Michelle came over to drop off some gummies and we spontaneously decided to do a live with my, uh, one of my new team members, Dr. Marissa and Dear Kelly. So it was really, really good. Spontaneity sometimes works the best. Yeah. So we, we took up the opportunity, we grabbed the bull by the horns and we went for it. That was great. Awesome. Yeah, whenever two juicers get together, you never know what's going to happen. That's why we have these lunch and learns, because you never know what's going to happen when we all get together. And then I saw it, and it was great. Oh, good. And Michelle uh, from... Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us on there, Gwen. And you left some really great, like, comments and stuff. So thank you, thank you. You're welcome. It just happened. I was sitting there just going for a walk. Awesome. And I know Michelle got something out of our last Lunch and Learn. Right, Michelle? Tell them what you got out of that. Yeah, because you had me talk about the berry challenge. And then um, you also had, I forgot her name. Wendy. Wendy, come on and speak about it. And it reminded me, I just had a new batch of samples of the berries and that I could do a post about that. So that's what I did the next day. Awesome. Sample giveaway. So she's given away her samples that were sitting there anyway. Yep. It's totally in line with the berry challenge that we're doing. Okay, good. Okay, who else has some exciting things that have happened in the last couple of weeks? Maybe somebody came around who you've been sharing with forever. Um, somebody got promoted. Somebody got an order. I have something. Um, I've been talking with a couple of people that um, used to attend our church many many years ago her and her daughter both have just gone through uh, covid and were both in the hospital at the same time i would say the mom is probably a little bit older than i am and her daughter is probably in her 40s and um so they're they're home recovering from covid and so i started sharing with them come to find out one nurse is a um, is a physician practi practitioner. Another one, another daughter is like a nurse, and this mom. And I am just excited. I'm like, um, how cool would this be? I think I have something that might help you in your recovery. Mm -hmm. And they're all medical professionals that can help other people. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, well, I'm gonna make a few announcements and then we're gonna to get to our special guest. So, um, I wanna make, make Doug's not on here yet. Um, so, and I'm not sure if he's gonna join us today. So I'll wait, I don't know whether to wait on that one. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and tell you guys that the t-shirt shop is open. Um, Doug has been designing t-shirts for you guys. And um, it's not to make money, just so you know is to help us promote 
the kind of things we want to promote on a t-shirt. So if you guys have ideas, you can always send those to Doug also. And that way, um, and so any profit that we do make, we, we're just going to reinvest it in you guys. We've already given away some t-shirts. So just uh, if we do make a profit, that means more gifts for you guys. Um, yeah. And then we're having the action game, and I think it starts Monday. Somebody who's an expert can raise their hand. Is it Monday? I think that the action game. Yes. Okay, Melanie and Michelle, yes. Okay, so um, if you want to join that, and that's not a moneymaker for us either, even though you're sending $20 to Doug, um, that just goes into the pot. And what we do is we do daily method of operation things, like you get points if you've shared with somebody we've sent a video or event or whatever, um, or if you have an event, or you do a three-way call, then you get points and um, there's teams. And so the highest number team wins some kind of money, the highest uh, person who does the most connection points gets money. And then it's like, there's three people who win, all that kind of stuff. So um, that is coming near the deadline because it starts Monday. And I think there might be a Zoom Sunday. I should know better. But anyway, um, those things are in the announcements part of Team Transformers in the end. Um, so check it out, okay? And I'll go ahead and share our big news because you guys are family. And um, oh gosh, I hope I can hold it together. So uh, our second son, Daniel, who's 20, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to hold it together. Um, darn it. <clears throat> so it's been a, a little bit of a struggle to figure out what he wants to do in life. So we've tried to just be accepting because it's been hard and oh goodness. Um, so we've been kind of in a holding pattern for, I don't know how many years, um, where he's just like played video games <laughs> and we feel like the worst parents, um, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, it took that time to just accept and love him for who he is and his qualities and, and everything. And there's a lot of lessons there. Um, and so he grew and he decided on his own without mommy and daddy interfering at all. And it was such a relief that he decided he wanted to go for army rangers, which is like an elite army thing. <laughs> it's like, you know, we didn't push it. We're so happy that he found something he could get excited about and motivated, like to, to have somebody have the inner motivation to not rely on mommy and daddy is like amazing so he pursued it he called the recruiter he did invite dougie to go with him um and they did and then i'm like okay well we'll see you know we'll see we'll see and so then he went through the steps of, of doing that and then he went for, he's going for a physical i'm like all right he's going for a physical you know and he said well if, you know i want to ship out like in the spring so i'm like okay you know i was just kind of going along because i didn't know where this was going to go so we're on our way to the recruiter's office just for him to go in a van with some other guys down in Miami for a physical. And the recruiter calls him up. I'm like thinking, why is he recalling him like at the five minutes that I'm pulling into the, the parking lot? Doesn't he already have a meeting with him? Like, isn't he going to be in the recruiting office? So anyway, he calls him up. He's like, I know you wanted to go to ranger school. And this actually is an opportunity that came up in the system. And so I don't know whether you want it. I don't know how he said it, but, um, and Daniel's like, well, I need to talk to my parents. He listened for a long time. He's like, I need to talk to my parents. So then anyway, he hangs up and I have like one minute with them in the parking lot. And he's like, they're, they're giving me what I want, but I ship out September 22nd. I'm like, okay, well, you got to do it if that's what you want, you know? And it didn't matter about, I'm like, don't do it because of the bonus. Because the bonus is $25,000 on top of other bonuses and all this stuff. I'm like, don't do it for the bonus. Do it because you want to do it. He's like, this is what I want to do. So uh, anyway, just prayers, acceptance, you know, and that goes for you guys too. I want you guys to be inner motivated. We accept you where you are and what you want to do. And I see the kind of same growth with you guys where all of a sudden it's like you, you find yourself and where you want to be in this, this um, business and you just take off. So anyway, it's an exciting time for us. And so we're like, okay, we have like a month to spend with Daniel <laughs> and then it's all going to be great. He's going to go through like 24 weeks of going to ranger school, not just basic training, but some other so it's pretty amazing. So I wanted to share that with you guys because you are an essential part of our lives. And oh, congratulations. How wonderful. Wow, wow, wow. How precious. How exciting. How amazing. 
motivating him to work out. They're saying eat right, you know, work out and all this. So uh, now he's, he's doing more of that too. So anyway, it's exciting. Okay. So that was my, my other announcement. Um, and then I, I shared with you guys in uh, the team transformers group, some live video today, which was amazing. So make sure you listen to that. So I was on a, a mastermind. We have this mastermind group, which is awesome. And so Kim Douglas is in the mastermind group and you know, we talk about all kinds of things and, and, you know, the last time we talked, it was all about diversity and what was going on in the world and all that. But this time we talked, it was like, we were hitting on all cylinders where, you know, we just got cranking businesses right now and, and just different ideas. So it was like on and popping and Kim was one of the ones that was super on and popping. I'm like, you have got to come on our lunch and learn and share because I think it's really going to appeal to you. She's super mission minded. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Kim. She's going to share her story. We're going to be able to ask questions um, and find out what it is that she's excited about that um, is totally mission-minded and um, getting her excited. And also she's having team members that are coming to her because she is really excited um, and excited to grow her team. So go ahead, Kim. Thank you so much for agreeing to be on here. We appreciate you and we love learning from sideline buddies. Kim is a side. Let's learn from her. Thanks, Kim. Absolutely. Thanks, Sharon. And I just love seeing all of your beautiful faces. And, you know, one of the things in sharing your story, Sharon, about your son, you know, the love, love is the secret. And um, we can be short of that in this world. It could be a lot of criticism in our culture and a lot of negativity. And, and when we choose love, even when the times are hard, when we choose love, I just think that's when the miracles happen. And, and we have to love ourselves in the, in the journey. And sometimes that can be the hardest. Um, because of perfectionism and all that, but I'm so happy to be here. Um, and thank you for inviting me, Sharon. I am excited. I am so excited right now, and I'm happy to, I'll start with my story. Um, you know, I learned about Juice Plus 18 years ago, and at that time, I was a busy working mom. I was an educator. I taught at a college for 28 years, and I was raising my kids and considered that just a, a great joy, gift, and of course, challenge um, to grow. <laughs> and uh, life was so full. Um, and I was mostly grateful for everything because the dream I had to be a professor had come true. The dream I had to be married to a great man and creating a family was happening. Um, but there were a couple pain points, a couple challenges. And one, I had lost a number of young friends to cancer. One of my closest friends left 13-month-old twin daughters behind. That was truly the hardest funeral I ever went to. And it, it, it impacted me so much, I started having dreams I could be next because she wasn't a sick person that you know, expected a diagnosis. She was healthy like me. We were doing the same thing, dreaming the same thing. And... Um, so I started, I, I knew, okay, God, I need to find a way to protect my health and my family's health. I was the busy mom, hate to say this, driving through Little Caesars on my way home from work. <laughs> so I wasn't, you know, we did eat salad at night and I tried to do some healthy things. But to be honest with you, uh, being uh, juggling work and mothering, you know, some days I was just so tired by four o'clock that that was what was convenient and easy. Um, the other pain point was that I had spent all these years going to school and paying for a college education, had student loans that I was paying off, and I really expected to be making more than what I was making. And finances were a difficult challenge. I hear a little echo. I don't know if everybody's muted, but that might help. And um, I, we had some debt we were trying to pay down and we'd pay it down and get a little bit ahead and then something would happen again, you know, a normal household repair, car repair, and we just both were educators and sometimes there was more month than money. So I was looking for a way to supplement my income like a lot of educators and I met a doctor who introduced me to Juice Plus. I was so excited to learn about the power of plants and fruits and vegetables and 
We decided to add Juice Plus to our food budget, get our children on the children's health study. I felt just secure knowing that I was doing something proactive to protect our health. And you know, when I look back over the years, more energy. I didn't. I don't hit four o'clock in the afternoon, and I used to like need caffeine to pick me up, and maybe a few M and M's. <laughs> we don't need to do that now. We got those shakes, right? <laughs> so <laughs> um, I have more energy today than I had back then, and I'm sixty. I'm going to be sixty-three this month, and um, I'm a grandma now. My um, grandkids love fruits and vegetables. Um, Lewis, who's three, he'll chew his capsules. So I'm a proud grandma. And we've just changed, we've influenced our whole family for generations to come. I just know it. They know I'm the grandma that talks about fruits and vegetables. And um, the, the doctor who introduced me, I asked for her business card because of what I'm going to share today, the Healthy Starts for Families program. That's what I'm most excited about. And even back then, it was like, wow, there's a way for kids to get this free? I, and I remember saying, give me your business card. I'll send everyone I know your way. What parent or grandparent wouldn't want their child or grandchild or a child special to them to benefit from this? And she looked at me and she said, well, why don't you partner with me? I'm on a mission to make a difference and to turn some of these disease statistics into health statistics. And I said, I just felt intuitively go down this road. I had no experience and I chose to go down that road. I had no vision of becoming a national marketing director. I was the cool professor and a scholar. And um, so, you know, I, I kind of thought, oh, you know, that's not me um, selling fruits and vegetables, but it didn't take long. You know, I would go to work and the faculty meeting I was in was like a war zone and I'd go to a Juice Plus conference or a regional training and it was like a love fest. Now, where do you want to be, right? I, I got tired of the war zone. I saw people actually, the stress, getting diagnoses and I started thinking, you know what? Maybe I want to get out of teaching earlier than planned and this business brings me joy. It gives me a sense of purpose. Maybe I could write more because I'm a writer. So fast forward, I had some growing to do. I'm not one of these like meteorite, you know, decide to become a national marketing director and a year later you're there. No, for me, it was slow and steady. Um, you know, I think when I made the decision, it was about another four years and I had been four years in the business. So from sign up date, eight years. And I don't regret any of it. I needed to, everybody's journey is unique. And I think um, one tip I would give is never compare yourself to anyone else. You are unique. You have your unique radiant light and you have your journey. And um, so it's been a great journey. I love it today. I'm not as worried about money. You know, I think I still have a pattern of worrying about it, but I pretty much, you know, this community is like so proactive that we learn to get rid of our, our patterns. And I'm so grateful for the abundance it's brought in the relationship. So I do want to say um, I have some practices. I want to share a few tips before I get into an initiative our team is doing. Um, I have a morning routine that I have learned when I am 125% committed to this morning routine, my life is filled with miracles and abundance and energy. And so I, I start, I get up in the morning, I am a coffee drinker and I will always be a coffee drinker. I do the shred 10, I don't give up coffee. I still have one cup. So confession. <laughs> if anybody's out there, maybe some of you are pure heart, you know, you just do it, not me. I have my one cup of coffee, I do everything else in the shred, but, <laughs> but that. So I get my cup of coffee. I do a meditation. And right now, I mentioned your unique radiant light. I found this meditation that I just love. And I'll share it with Sharon. She can pass it along. And it's really about, it's an energy meditation to get in touch with our own unique radiant light. And to expand it outward to the world. And I do that in the morning. and I just 
feels so different. And after that, I do some prayers, I do my affirmations, I get my mind, my heart, my whole being right. I do some exercise to, you know, also feel great and live this beautiful mission that we're a part of. And then I review my goals. What are my intentions, you know, long term? As you get to NMD and there's still more to go. And for the month, what's my intention? And I review that because it's so easy in our busy world to forget where we even said we wanted to go. <laughs> so um, that's my morning routine. It's sacred. Um, even when I was raising my kids, it might not be all back to back, but I fit in that self-care because I wanted to be a mother that my kids have positive memories of. And when I didn't take care of myself, I wasn't the most pleasant person. And it's true in every area of our life. So that is one tip I give to my team. I say, you know, what's your self-care commitment this month? And if they don't have that down, I don't think we can be magnetic, right? I don't think we're attractive. You know, and I've been so good at it that Sharon noticed in our mastermind because she has seen me at other times where I've been on a low. So she knows the difference. And I've been doing that morning routine. <laughs> so um, that's really important. Now, what we're doing, um, you know, I started thinking, I'm ready. You know, for a while, I've just been happy where I'm at in national marketing director, benefits package, good income coming in. But I, I suddenly thought, you know what? I am ready to get to the next position, international marketing director. So I printed out the form in the Freedom Revolution because there's a worksheet. I've got that filled out on one of my clipboards. I've got... 50 potential team member profile sheets. And I filled out 25 to start. And then as I interact with people or someone comes to mind, I'm adding names through the month. So I, I will tell you these things as this is like my vision. I know my dream team are the people I want to pay attention to. Because we could go on to Facebook and pay attention to anybody. It's not systematic. But those people I, I really desire to partner with, I want to be building the relationship. I, for some of them, I want to make that direct invite. Hey, I've got a great idea I want to run by you. When do you have 15 or 20 minutes? We can hop on Zoom. I do a lot of my business on Zoom because I am social distancing. And um, I have friends all over the world. So the other thing I thought is, okay, what's, what do I really love about what we do? What do I feel most proud of? And it's the Healthy Starts for Families program. Do you realize that we have served 1.5 million families? 1.5 million families have received free fruit and vegetable supplementation for their children. That's on the, the PowerPoint corporate has put together. Have had positive results. And our contribution and the company's hundreds of millions of dollars contribution has made this possible. Wow. So that's what I love. And I started thinking, what works for me? Because I really believe it's important to study success. And, you know, we reach out, we might invite someone to a conversation. Maybe we have a, a wine and wellness. Maybe right now we, a lot of people are doing things on Zoom. And I thought one of the things that's always worked well for me is when I'm really direct with people. If I'm indirect and beat around the bush, and kind of hope to get someone on a call and kind of lead them to an event. It's not as effective. But what has really worked for me is I set a goal every month, how many conversations am I gonna have? How many, and how many actual interactions about Juice Plus? So um, the past two months, last month I set a goal of, I'm gonna share the Healthy Starts for Families program with 10 people this month. And I sent out a text or Facebook message or email 
or a video, made a video and invited a friend, sent it through text. And I said, you know, hey, Mary, I've got a favor to ask. I set the goal of sharing the Healthy Starts for Families program that I represent with 10 people this month. And it, it was the 20th of July and I had not done a, I think I'd done one. And I said, I'm way behind and the month is coming to an end. I'm wondering if you could give me 20 minutes of time, we could hop on Zoom and I can share the details of this amazing program that's serving people all over the world. And, um, you know, I had so many people, I reached my goal. They're like, oh, sure, I'd be glad to. Yeah, let's do it. I've got Friday free. People responded. Some people I didn't hear from, but I never take that personally because I'm guilty. Sometimes I get a message and I think, oh, I want to respond to that later when I can give it my full attention and then I get distracted and I don't get to it. So um, a lot, that usually happens. We make up wild stories in our head. They don't care. They think I'm pushy. It's totally the, the um, as Brene Brown says, the sloppy draft. She uses the swear word, but I don't want to swear in case that offends anybody. So, um, you know, just don't take anything personally. But I have found in my team is finding that when we're really direct about that, it works. So we're sending out those messages as a team. A lot of us got excited about this. So we're kind of doing a team initiative all the way through conference. And each of us, we have different goals. So, you know, I like, you know, last month it was 10, right? This month it's like, I want to have 20 presentations with people. And, um, I was so excited about how well it went. And I'm still a little behind, you know, because I'm doing some three ways. If I have a new team member and they're not feeling a little insecure, not sure how to do this, I do that with them. So what happens, um, I send out the invite. We ink in a time. In fact, after this call at one, I have a friend in Denmark and I should really share the Oh, I reached out to her. I did a slightly different message and I'm going to read it to you because there's some options. I also want to build more team and I want to have an international business. So my friend Aileen, who I'm meeting with right after this, it's um, evening in Denmark, seven in the evening. So I said to her, hey, Aileen, I have a favor to ask. I've set the goal of sharing the Healthy Starts for Families initiative with 20 people this month and wondering if you would be open to hopping on Zoom to learn about this international program. I'm thinking you might know some people in Denmark that you could connect me with who would be interested. I'm seeking international partners to help me share to make a bigger impact. Do you have time Thursday or Friday? So here it is Friday, right? Sent that on Tuesday, I think. So. Um, we got the call, we set up the time, we come together and the first thing I'm gonna do on the call is say, hey, you know, before I share the details, you know, tell me how's your health going? What are your health goals and concerns and for your family? So I'm gonna hear about her because we know that asking good questions, listening, building the relationship, and I know her, we've had a lot of Zoom calls about many things we have common interests in. And so I'll hear that, and, and, and first, actually, backtrack, first is thank you. Thank you for taking this time and helping me reach my goal. I am so grateful, I'm so excited about this program, and I really, you know, I set this intention, and I'm so glad you're helping me meet it. And then I'm gonna say, you know, before I share the details, you know, I would love to know if you have any health concerns yourself or for your kids or any health goals. And I'll listen to that. I'll reflect back a little bit what I hear, you know, if it's goals and she's running a marathon, I'll be like, yay, that's so awesome. I'm so proud of you. This is great. You know, if it's some concerns, I'll have compassion and empathy. And then what I say is that I'm so excited about this program that I can kind of run at the mouth and I get, I get all over the place. 
And so I put together a short little PowerPoint that keeps me on track and will help us honor our time. Is it okay if I pull that up? And she's like, oh yeah, everybody's like, oh yeah, absolutely. And really, this is my goal. And I will tell you that I find when people can get more information than simply my story, and corporate has put together such great PowerPoints, and you know, I have shortened it because I find some of them long, so I shorten it a little bit, but that's what they're there for. We can do that. And um, I want people to make an informed decision. And if I can get someone one on one or a few people for a conversation and go through that, I'll tell you my success rate is 90% of the people will either become a customer or join the mission. Now, you might be thinking, as some of my team and even I was thinking, that what if someone doesn't have kids? You know, is this program relevant to them? And absolutely it is, because we all have kids in our life. We might be a teacher, we might be an aunt or an uncle, we might be a grandparent, we might be thinking about having kids someday. <laughs> so it's just like when we have calls focused on seniors, we're all gonna get old someday. Hey, I'm 63. When I was 30, I thought that was ancient, and here I am, so glad I'm on Juice Plus because I feel like better than when I was 30. So, um, you know, this is for everybody. And when we say I set the goal, it's just wanting people, even like with um, Aileen, I really would like to open Denmark. It's been a dream for a while. So I'm thinking she's got a network of people. She might be interested. She might not. But she, I know she cares enough about me that she's going to have some ideas. And she might order today. That's in my vision. I go in positive that, you know, who wouldn't love this program, right? So when I pull up the PowerPoint, the next thing that I like to do is not make it a presentation, but a conversation. So the first few slides I say, hey, you know, this is kind of the bad news we're gonna go through first, but I promise you it gets, it's gonna go uphill and get positive but it's important for people to be aware of what's going on in our planet. So I share the, the statistics, right? The disease statistics on the slide. And after we look at that, I say, you know, do you have any friends or family members that have dealt with any of this? So again, it's not, I'm just talking at someone for 20 minutes and not giving them room to respond. And also it's information for me to see how she's interacting with the slides and the information and helping her think out loud when we ask questions like that. We want people to be thinking out loud because it's not about us. It's about accompanying them through learning and reflecting on what they're learning and then hopefully making a decision that will serve them. So then we go to the slide on the environmental toxins and I sometimes say, you know, like Aileen is younger than me and raising kids. And I'll say, you know, when I was raising my kids, this wasn't as out there in the media as it is today. You know, is this something you think about it? You know, like the household products, makeup and skincare and all that. Do you think about the pollution? Or is this new to you like it was to me? And so we, you know, we kind of have a little conversation on those first slides, I think, are really important because that's helping people get in touch with whether or not they're struggling with these challenges. And then we go into um, our food, you know, our food being filled with chemicals. And so I, I think what I'll ask Aileen today is because often in Europe, it's better than here. So I'll say, hey, you know, over here in the States, Aileen, it is horrible. You know, most of the aisles contain factory food that's not even food. I understand it's a little better in Europe. What are your thoughts? How, are, how is it in Denmark? And that gives her a chance to think about food and what she is buying at the store. And I get to hear about that. So then I say, now the good news is we're going to zip through some of the great solutions that are available. 
And I'll kind of go a little faster through this point with the fruits and vegetables. I do always ask when I say, hey, we all need seven to 13, a wide variety every day, not once a week like I used to think, <laughs> but every day. You know, how well do you and your family do? Do you struggle like 90% of us don't get what we need every day? Are you part of the 90% or are you part of the rare 10%? And so, you know, I'll hear that because again, that helps to establish whether or not there's a need. And then I go into um, the Juice Plus products, the slides, you know, and I, I'm emphasizing the Healthy Starts for Families program with that. You know, most families aren't getting this. So what the Healthy Starts for Families program affiliated with the Juice Plus company provides free fruit and vegetable supplementation for kids. So let me tell you about how great these fruits and veggies are. And I go through the next few slides on that, on the Children's Health Study, the family, Healthy Starts for Families program. And then the last slide where we present options, you know, the ABC close. I have pictures on that one. This is, I can send the PowerPoint because I encourage all my team, add your own pictures. So I have pictures of my grandsons. These four cute little guys. I had all daughters and now I have all grandsons. And there's a cute picture of three of them because the fourth is the newest, he's just a year old. So we haven't all been together to get a picture of all four of them. So I have the three there and I put this saying that I love, that children are the promise and guarantee of the future. And I truly believe that. I love our children so much, all of them. And having been a mother, I feel like I love all children. They are so sacred, so special gifts. And yes, we can be challenged raising them, but they're the future. And so I say, you know, I'm doing this. I'm a part of this mission because I, I know we need healthy future leaders and workers and parents. And my best friend wasn't even around to raise her kids. The dream of her life to raise children and she was cut short because of diseases that take people out. And then I show pictures of my grown, my daughters, my husband, and people love that. They want to see who we are. And, um, and it's, it's like the most beautiful part. And so people just, you know, they're like, oh, your grandkids are so cute. <laughs> Is that your husband? Yeah, that's my handsome husband. You know, 30 years of marriage this year. And so then I say, so, you know, really, I just want to close out with what the options are for this program. You know, so many people, they hear this, they're like, sign me up. I want to become a customer. And then they hear about the Healthy Starts for Families program, and they're like, oh, I've got a grandchild, or oh, I have a niece, or oh, my children. And one adult can enroll one child, and if you've got five kids, you know, we welcome aunts and uncles, a sponsoring adult to enroll them. And the third option is to join this mission. And instead of 1.5 million families, you know, I see 3 million, 5 million. I do this every month because I don't want it just 1.5 million benefiting. If 90% of us aren't getting what we need, that number has to go up. So I'm always looking for partners to come on along. Let's have fun and do this together and share this information. So um, then I say, you know, what do you think? What do you like about this? You know, and I already have a sense because we've been conversing. And, um, you know, people will say, sign me up, my son, I got to get him on this. Um, one of my friends who's a doctor signed up as a customer. And we've been, I've been doing customer care. And I said to her, you know, I'd love for you to meet the doctor who introduced me. I told her about you. We're expanding our mission. I think you'd be so great at this, you know, open to a conversation. 
So we have that scheduled next week on Thursday. So from here, great things begin to, it's, you know, popcorn popping. And one of the things is my team, I notice even new people who are, you know, I was nervous when I started. I didn't know what I was doing. And, um, and I always think of um, Gretchen Comstock. She used to say when she was new, she'd reach out to her friends and she'd say, you know, I'm doing something new and it's really good. I don't know what I'm doing yet. But I tell you, I ought to share this with you because it's amazing. And I love that. It's just so if you're new or have new team members, we don't have to be perfect. And with this PowerPoint, you know, it, everybody loves the Healthy Starts for Families program. So it's just like something we're all proud of. It's easy to share. And um, setting up a goal like that and telling people, hey, help me reach my goal. I'm behind. <laughs> you know, people want to help us. So that's a little bit of what we're doing, Sharon. Thank you for. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I know everybody is happy that you shared that. And I'm sure they probably have some questions. Great. And I just think it's great that you found something that you grabbed onto that you're excited about. And also the way you share is very feeling because you've owned it. You, this is like your thing that you're gonna, you know, hang on to and you have a vision and you're talking about future, future, future. And anytime you're talking about the future and still looking at the past or talking about the present even, people want to follow that. So that's really incredible. And you really shared a lot of good things and everybody's saying, thank you. So genuine. Um, so awesome. I think you're very vulnerable. Also, and you do that throughout the presentation too. So yeah, the conversational way Nanette said, so I love that too. I think we learned a lot. You're great. Yeah. Thank you. So what else do you guys want to say? Yeah. Well, I have a question. Um, I have a question that I put in the chat. And firstly, thank you, thank you, thank you for helping us. Because every time I start a presentation, I always say this is a conversation and I end up doing a presentation. So you, <laughs> you gave the example as to how to have a conversation instead of a presentation. Thank you so much. I'm going to implement this on my team. Oh, I'm so glad that helped you. Good. Okay. Well. So my question, did you see the question, Sharon? It was about the it was about the profile sheets. Can you share more about those um uh I think you said the perspective profile sheet? Yes, and it's in the Freedom Revolution. And I consider this for goal setters on my team that this is really important. It's like our vision board for our future team. And what we do is, you know, like I have a friend here and I filled out and has, you know, what she does about her family information, if she's currently a customer or not, what her experience has been. If not, I leave that part blank. Their characteristics, are they entrepreneurial, health conscious, a pe person, self-starter, teachable, credible? And then what is the most significant thing about this person that makes you feel they would do well in the Juice Plus business? You know, why do you think they will excel? And what is it that you really like, love, or admire about them? So I find that when I reach out, like to my friend Mooney, I reached out to her and said, hey, Mooney, I was thinking about you this morning. I was making a list of smart people I really admire, people who are heart-driven, you know, she's entrepreneurial. If, she wa if it was someone who wasn't, I wouldn't say that, but I'm, I've written down what I've admired. So it helps me in my communication and to invite them to a conversation. It also, the three-way connection call is a really important tool that I've noted the team members who, get over their fear of it and do this, um, they, they grow. People come on. Um, I, I love to share the story. I had a team member um, who's now a sales coordinator and her goal was simply to earn about 1500 a month to send her daughter to private school. She was busy, you know, teaching single parent, because her husband traveled the world, was never there. Just, I mean, barely any time. She could just say, forget it, I have no time. 
Instead, she took about 15 to 20 minutes every night, sent out messages to Dream Team and to others. And she'd either say, hey, you know, my husband and I found something that's really changed our health. We want to share it with everyone we know and love. I thought of you. You're one of those people. Do you have 15 or 20 minutes this weekend to connect? Because that's the only time she could connect. To, he had a two-hour block on Saturday. She put people in front of me, and I wanted to know about them because she was reaching out to her dream team. And we simply would meet them. I'd hear about them, say everything that she loved about them, and go through, again, a little bit of a PowerPoint in a conversation way. They had all the information. 90% of the people, she actually had more teams sign up. And she said, I'm not good at this. I can't get any customers. I said, oh, don't worry about it, honey. We all want more team members. And she's, you know, she's got another career. She reached her goal. She makes a little bit extra because she continues to take care of her customers and build a little bit here and there. And that's how we did it. And we did it in six months' time. So it's systematic, focused, um, having some systems in place. That helps me because I can be really scattered. I can be all over. But this, you know, having those profile sheets. And I also, and Sharon knows this, we have to continue to build our business. We're not doing anything. You know, we're not asking you to do anything we don't do. You know, we're adding customers, team, having conversations, all that. So we did question in the chat any advice for tell i hate to use the word telling team how to get people to get onto a three-way call so encouraging team to get onto three-way call how do we do that any advice on that how to get people to get on a three-way call do you mean uh well maybe you could just say whatever you want Kim. i mean do the do the people always know they're getting onto a like a, a call with multiple people and how do you get people to agree to that? Because my team and I have struggled with that. Yeah, uh, there's several different answers. So, you know, I always say there's more than one way to get where you're going. So um, sometimes like that approach with a team member who wanted to earn 1500 a month. When she, she got people say, oh, sure, I'd love to learn what you have. And she'd say, great, you know, what time did you say you could make it Saturday? And they'd set up the time. And then she'd say, my friend, and partner Kim will be on the call with me, will be on Zoom with me. I can't wait for you to meet her. She has the best story and she's helping me, you know, lift off and share this in phenomenal way, something like that, whatever felt good to her. And um, so that was one way we would just set up the appointment and then say, so-and-so will be there. I can't wait for you to meet them. Sometimes we'll reach out and say, hey, I was talking to my friend. Maybe I would say, hey, I was talking to my friend Sharon today, and you came to mine, and she wants to meet you. I told her all about you, and she's like, oh, let's meet her. She's into health. Let's all get together on Zoom so that it's relationship fun. And so, you know, we don't ever use the word three-way, ever. In-house jargon never works. You know, and that feels like, oh, no, you know. Um, it's simply connecting people, sharing stories. Um, when I directly invite people to partner with me, like I have said to some people this month that, hey, I'm expanding my business and adding five new partners. And um, I was, I'm very selective. And because you are so heart driven, mission oriented and love to serve people, I thought of you, this may or may not be for you, but I figured you might know some people, are you open to a conversation? And, um, and we sometimes we go back and forth. They're like, I don't have any time. I say, yeah, I know you don't have any time. Like I said, it's probably not for you, but you might know someone, anybody you know that's looking for a decent supplemental income stream, doing something good I trust. So can you, I'd love for you to learn what I'm up to. So I put, I learned, you know, that's a leadership thing. You just got to learn to get out of your comfort zone and not withdraw when someone says I'm too busy. Say, yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, this probably isn't for you, but you probably know someone that, especially right now, who's looking for some solid extra income. And then we, um, when we get the appointment set, that's when I always say, like, I do three white calls, and I'll say, hey, listen, I can't, I'm going to have my friend Rachel on with me. We're partners in this together. 
I want you to hear her story and what this has done for her. We work together all the time. So I just try to make it casual, relaxed, and, and you know, when you discover the power of that connection call, there's no turning back. There, there's no turning back. And I always tell people, I say, you know, it took me, I put off my sponsor for two years. I was not letting her, gonna, she was not going to be on a three-way with anybody. I told her, I said, I'm not, I don't do that. That's not how I'm building. And then all I heard was everybody was doing three-way call. I was not going anywhere. You know, same old, same old paycheck. And I thought maybe I need to get over myself and get into the, you know, the uncomfortable zone of learning something new. You know, maybe there's something to it. So I did, it was awkward at first. And if it's awkward and it doesn't feel good, it's like a kid learning to swim and they get in the pool the first time. They, you know, it's awkward and they don't do very well. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't get back in the pool. It just means that when we do something over and over, we get really good at it. And gosh, you don't have to do anything too if you get a leader on. <laughs> Someone who's done it before. You know, you just bring people and put them in front of whoever your leadership sponsor is and they do the work. They, they build a great relationship and it's so much fun. Does that help, Jennifer? Awesome. Thank you so much for addressing that. And, and you can even say, hey, I'd love for you to meet us on Zoom. You know, me and my wow. friend on Zoom. And it sounds so casual. Like she's saying, keep it casual. You can define it. You don't have to call it, label it, you know, a three-way call. You yeah. can define what you're actually doing. So, Absolutely. Cool. Sharon, I have a question. I was just wondering, um, what do you do? Like, okay, maybe I'm the, the national marketing director, but then the person I'm doing the call with is maybe four people down with me. So they have three people in between or two people in between us. Like, Sometimes it feels awkward to have five people on the call, but I want to empower my team underneath me to do those calls, but they're going to see how to do them by me doing them. So how many people, is it usually just three people that you have on, or do you sometimes have as many as five people? What do you do with that? Yeah, I think it depends on the situation. I don't like to have too many people because then it does feel like, you know, it just, I don't know. For me, if someone else might, you know, you could talk to 20 NMDs and they'd all have a different answer. But for me, I might like, um, I'm working with someone right now, she and her team member who have goals. And um, sometimes we'll get on with another person, all of us. Um, and sometimes we won't. And sometimes my, my leaders pretty much are, it, it, a lot of them are good at doing their own three ways now and some are learning. So I also take that into consideration. I don't need to be on every call. So if someone has really learned, ask questions, listen, wrap the story around their needs. You know, they, at some point they have to fly away from the nest and do this. And um, so we have to usually work that out together. When someone, um, first comes in and they're doing three ways, I let them know, you know, you want to be taking notes. And, and new people can even say to a friend that, hey, I'm learning how to do this. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm going to be taking notes. You know? <laughs> Kim is like showing me how to share and, um, you know, present information in a fun way. If someone's fun, if someone's business, like we wouldn't say fun, but, you know, we'd say, you know, in an efficient way. <laughs> That's why these profile sheets are so important, right? Because not everybody's the same. And um, so, yeah, I think, you know, and that's where I like to have someone I strategize with. So if you're trying to decide that, you might get with Sharon and just say, what do you think? You know, this is the situation. You do want people to learn and you can have some calls where, you know, we role model how to do it sometimes and that'll help people get the idea. But I find there's way too many people who are afraid of these calls. Mm -hmm. And so it's not like, you know, a hundred team members all at once want to start doing three ways. It's usually hey, you have time to fit them in. <laughs> yeah. Time to teach. And, and remember, as you teach your team, it's empowering your team. You want them to become independent and empowered. And so I think 
you know, that talking with team members about that. This is something I see you're going to be able to do this so great on your own. I know you're a little nervous now, but it won't be long before you fly with this. And um, yeah. yeah, it's just getting somebody else on the phone who can share their story or share a little bit more than what you know. So um, if you introduce it as something like that, hey, I'm going to get my friend on. She's been doing this, whatever, or she's doing this campaign. She knows more about this campaign than I do uh, mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever it is. So uh, I want to thank you, Kim. I know you have your, your huge call that's coming up. <laughs> so we want to let you go and wish you luck and, and everything. And we'll be thinking of you and implementing the ideas that you gave us. So we totally appreciate it. Anytime you want to come back on our Lunch and Learn, and just be here and interact, we'd love that. Oh, thank you so much, Sharon. I appreciate you and I appreciate all of you. You're all so awesome and just have an amazing team leader. I love Sharon so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Take care, everyone. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're all so welcome. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. We'll be on here tomorrow at 12, you guys. And uh, sorry, I could not live stream, so I'm going to post this video into um, Team Transformers, and you guys can access it, all right? And I'll, I'll put it in Team Take Action, too, since I'm able to do that, Stace, <laughs> with the cool. YouTube video. Um, so think of any questions you have for tomorrow. I'm going to uh, make sure we talk about copycats of Juice Plus, so we'll address that, and we'll also address some new partner questions. So um, invite your new partners to come on on Saturday and anyone who works full time, especially. Okay. Have an awesome day, guys. See ya.